Hello everybody, I am Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Happy Sunday. It is July 24th and it is a beautiful day here in Menasha, Wisconsin. Yay! And I see Haley is watching me via Jared's phone. She's the first one on tonight. <laughs> Didn't get enough of me today, huh? Oh my gosh, you guys, we have had such a busy week since I saw you last. It has been so busy. We have spent a lot of time in our pool because it's been really hot here, which you guys know I just love that. And um, yesterday I had Little Miss Val all day long, me and Molly. We double teamed her and um, that was really fun. She was so sweet. Um, she's talking so much, you guys, and it's so funny because you'll say something to her, like you you can just say, don't eat those, they're too spicy. And she'll, okay, you know, she'll just sit there and then a little while later she'll go, too spicy? <laughs> she's so stinking cute, I just love her. And Dawson is just a little marshmallow. He is a chunky monkey. <laughs> and he is the sweetest, like, He's just sweet. He's always smiling. Well, most of the time. He's smiling all the time, and he's just the sweetest thing. Oh, and I have to tell you. So, I took a shower with Val, and last time I took a shower, I sat around the toilet in the bathroom because my shower walls in my beautiful new bathroom are on glass, right? So, I, you know, you can see. And so last time I had to take a shower, I sat around the toilet, like, with the lid closed not in it or anything. And um, she just sat there the whole time and I talked to her and I quick showered and got myself out and dried and whatever. Well, yesterday I decided she needed a shower. So I pulled her into the shower with me and it was really cute. I washed her hair up to about here, from here to here. That's where I washed her hair because she doesn't like the water in her face. So, you know, we got some stuff done, you know, we got that done. But then I had her drying off. So I had her wrapped in this great big fluffy towel and I wrapped her in the towel and then I was drying myself off. And oh my gosh, this is so exciting. Are you ready for this? She goes, I gotta pee. And I'm like, woohoo! Cause you know, we were potty training, but that was over a long time ago. Like it just wasn't working. So we kind of like said, enough is enough. We went back to diapers and we haven't really attempted it anymore because you know, the new baby and the move and all the things. So anyways, she said she had to pee and I put her on the potty and she did. Probably more than you guys want to know, but it was pretty exciting stuff here. And uh, so that was cool. And then today, Steve and Molly and I moved Haley and Jared and his parents also. We all worked. We got them out of their two bedroom upstairs upstairs apartment <laughs> in about three to three and a half hours so it was pretty awesome and Haley and Jared are great movers because everything is ready to just be hauled out for the most part when you get there to move them like they have this down and you know how you get to somebody's house and they don't have some their, their stuff isn't packed yet and you're going what so yeah we did just the heavy lifting and nobody got hurt um, nothing got broken that I'm aware of. Everything was good and the cat made it to the new house. And I'm just so excited for that. I'm so excited for this little journey that they're on right now. I can't wait until they get it all put away and organized. And Haley's like, I'm definitely downsizing, um, cleaning stuff out. And I'm like, yeah, I know, you know, that, that's what happens when you move. And after moving them, I feel like, I need to get myself in order. <laughs> like, I need to get my crap cleaned out. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. I kind of feel that way too. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll probably pass. Nothing will actually happen. <laughs> That's how things go for me. But anyways, um, so it was super exciting. And I can't wait to see um, all the fabulous ideas that Haley has for decorating because she's like the best decorator ever. I don't know where she gets that from. She didn't get it from me. It definitely doesn't come from her father. <laughs> Hi, Rhonda from Bernie, Missouri. 
I just saw you pop in here. Um, so yeah, I can't wait to see what their house is going to look like. I know it's going to be so pretty and, um, yeah, they're, they're in their new home and I, I, I think they couldn't be happier. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Hi Elaine. Good to see you here. Oh, I was going to get my iPad. I had it going here and then, you know, I got sidewinded on talking to you guys <laughs> as well. I should, right? So Facebook has been changing things again. I have to say that it's been rather challenging. I'm glad that I got on here early tonight so I could figure some things out. Things aren't in the same place that they were. So that's, you know, can make you a little crazy. And I just found myself here. And then um, my video from last week, my live that I did last week, Last Sunday, it's gone. It's not on Facebook anymore. I don't know. They deleted it. I don't know why. Um, <laughs> there's that love-hate relationship again. We were just talking about it today. It's just so very frustrating. But anyways, we're here tonight. I got on on time, so everything is good. I'm so happy to see all of you guys coming in. It's exciting. I have, um, so I wasn't sure I was going to be live tonight, so I didn't post like I'm going to be live. Let me close this window a little bit. Um, it's really sunshiny here. So I didn't post until about an hour ago that I would be live because like I didn't know how today was going to go. Was I going to feel like I had any energy to do anything? I had such a busy weekend. Molly helped me last night package up all the catalog kick, kickoff kits. So those are going to be in the mail tomorrow. So I had I just had a lot of things happening, right? We watched Val all day and then me and Molly did that last night. She was a trooper, man. She helped compile the cardstock packs. She helped compile all the product that goes in the kits. It was super cool. And then she she wanted me to watch stranger things with her that's one of her favorite series so we went and crawled in the beds in her um in her bedroom downstairs her and Val have a bedroom at our house and um um we crawled in bed and she turned on stranger things because it's on like netflix or something and it was funny because i go hey molly we're on we're in two twin beds right i go hey molly what happens if I like fall asleep in 10 minutes? She goes, don't worry, granny. We can watch it again. <laughs> so I did fall asleep in about mm, 10 or 15 minutes. And I woke up at 1.30 and went to bed. <laughs> Turned the TV off and went to bed. It was pretty funny. But anyways, yeah, we had a good time. We've had a really great weekend here. And um, I do have ringed rings with is it Ringed with Nature? Yeah, Ringed with Nature class. It's going to be going out this week. I do have a few extra of those if anybody's interested. We're going to be using that bundle tonight, so I'm excited. I'll share some really great tips with you. Um, I am out of uh, the holiday. Let me start over. I'm out of the catalog kickoff make and take packets I sold out so I don't have any more of those left you guys um, I sell out every time like I think okay I'm gonna make this many and then I'll make 12 more or 24 more or whatever the case may be and every time it's not enough but I don't want to be sitting here with all that extra work and that extra product like we we can't do that we're not we don't carry inventory right so i order for what i know is going to be going out the door so anyways for future catalog kickoffs make sure you order your make and take packet fairly early because we're out i am um i think barb might have one left and dina might have some left so yeah um, anyways, I wanted to give you a John update. This is super exciting. So I was in the kitchen and I was on the phone with somebody and I was on the phone with somebody that was like important. I don't remember what the call was about, but I remember that I was having a conversation with someone. I couldn't be distracted. And um, Haley wrote a note for me. Here's a note. I know you can't read it, so don't worry. I'll read it for you. She was looking out the kitchen window into the driveway and it says, and I quote, John update, John update. John was just sitting on dad's Harley, LOL. <laughs> so that's my thing. 
John report. <laughs> John was sitting on Steve's Harley. I'm not quite sure what that conversation was about because I was on the phone, but I'm glad Haley was here to report that. So we had a John report. Um, John got some new wicker furniture and, um, his, he, he, I think he built a barn though up North and, um, I'm reading what somebody just said about directions. Kelly, I followed your directions. Jan, I'm so happy you made it. Yay. Jan was saying that she was having trouble with her Facebook and it's not giving her notifications when I'm on. So I typed up some basic instructions for her and they worked. Woohoo. Hang on a second. I'm going to, there we go. I got to keep my messages coming across my screen. But anyways, so John built a barn dough. And what is that? You guys know what a barn dough is? It's a barn dominium. And it's like a metal shed that you turn into a house on the inside. So they're very popular right now. And Steve and I actually had talked about building one. And then when I started looking into it more, I figured they'd be a really economical way to, you know, build a house. Well, it turns out they're not very economical to build because all the ones I saw, and maybe I just have too good of taste, but all the ones I saw were super duper expensive. And I'm like, oh, I'm not spending $350,000 on a barn, on a metal shed. So anyways, but anyways, John built a barn though, and um, he's got some property up north and he bought some wicker furniture for it. And I saw it the other day and Steve happened to tell me what it was for. So yeah. Cynthia wants to know if John knows that he has a following, such a huge following. John doesn't have a clue that he is one of the big points in our Sunday night program. <laughs> he doesn't have no idea. That's what makes it so funny. <laughs> and I had somebody else message me and they asked me, I think they asked me a couple questions and they said, can you tell me what's, what's the deal with John? So I explained, you know, I explained why we do a John update because during COVID there wasn't a lot going on and Steve came into my office one day and he knows when the doors close that I'm busy, like I'm probably shooting videos so you don't disturb me. But he came walking in, he opened up the door and he said, John got a new snowblower. Closed the door and left. So ever since then, he gives me a John update because we didn't have anything to do during COVID, right? So we had to make fun where we could make fun. Like, you know, they have that saying, got to make hay while the sun shines. Well, we had to make fun out of nothing. So that was our fun, <laughs> was the John update. So now we kind of try to keep an eye on what's happening. John, John, he, we have a driveway and then John has a driveway. So, and our houses are right next door to each other. That's just kind of dumb, <laughs> but it's fun, right? Okay, we've got prizes to give away. Oh, um, <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys, it is Celebration, and Celebration lasts until the end of August. Let me get out my little mini catalog here. Ooh, I'm glad I saw that page, okay? This is our holiday mini catalog. It's called the July through December mini catalog. And this is our celebration brochure. So lots of great, fabulous stuff in here you get free. So when you order out of any of our other catalogs, we have a big annual catalog or this catalog, you get to choose a free item out of here when your order from those other catalogs reaches $50 or more. So for every $50, you get to choose a free thing. And there are some things in here that are free with a $100 order because they're bigger. So. Yeah, Linda says you find joy in all places. This is true, right? Yeah, we can we can kind of have fun with just about anything. Just about anything, yeah. <laughs> um, and I see Ingrid on here from beautiful St. George, Utah. Ingrid, mm, makes me happy. So um, celebration lasts until the end of August. And don't forget that when you join my team, as a discount shopper or um, you can build a business, you're gonna get this beautiful, gorgeous planner. This is a huge planner and it is absolutely beautiful. Let me grab it. You guys get a good view of my butt. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Molly asked me, so we got home from Haley's house and you know we looked like, oh my good lord, a mess. And um, 
So I jumped in the shower right away because I, I had to get up here and get my cards figured out. Because like I said, I didn't know if I'd be able to be on tonight. And then I, I had time to be on, but I didn't have anything made. So um, I took a shower and I got myself dressed in some decent clothes, not moving clothes. And I went downstairs and Molly goes, where are you going? <laughs> and I said, no place. Why are you so dressed up? I'm like, well, I have a shirt on. And I have some camouflage shorts on. I don't think that's really that dressed up, is it? <laughs> so it's kind of funny. But I thought it was cute because why are you so dressed up? Anyways, um, this big, beautiful, fantastic planner is gorgeous. And you do get this free with when you join my team. Now, you also get a discount on everything you order when you join my team. Plus... Oh my gosh, you guys, so many more things. There's just so many things that come with it. I have never had anybody tell me, oh, I wish I wouldn't have done that. Everybody says, oh, it's the best thing I ever done. It's the best gift you will ever give yourself is to become part of something bigger. So free planner, it's huge. It's beautiful when you join my team. There are join links on my website, www.estampabove.com. Jane Grunwald, you'd be a great person to join. I just saw your name come through. No pressure. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's what's happening right now. Until the end of August, you can join. Um, we have prizes to give away. And since Facebook deleted my video from last week, I went and picked names exclusively from YouTube. So no matter where you are, whether you're watching me on Facebook right now, or Facebook later, um, or YouTube, please leave a comment because a comment will get you entered in a drawing for fabulous prizes. And I just so happen to have some elegant faceted gems to give away. Ooh, these are so pretty. These are going out to Shella Sams who left a comment on YouTube. So thank you, Shella. I appreciate your comments and these are gonna be in the mail too. Next up, I'm kind of excited about this next one. Well, I'm excited about all of them, the right? Theme, the force will be with you, always. Did you hear her? That was my Alexa, and she said, remember, the force will be with you always. I know, Alexa. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know why she said that. Um, anyways, <laughs> oh, it's kind of creepy, isn't it? This is the Celebrate Everything Designer Series paper. This is a humongous pack of paper and it is a host only set of paper that you can get with your Stampin' Rewards when you place an order over $150. And it is, I think it's in our um, mini catalog. Yep, I'm pretty sure. That's where it is, right here. Celebrate everything right here. You can also get the Caroling Mice stamp set when you place an order of $150 or more. And you can use your stamping rewards to get those exclusive host only sets. <laughs> I know you guys, may the force be with me. I know. <laughs> um, I actually got an Alexa up here, squirrel, because I thought she would make a good assistant for me. Alexa, are you a good assistant? You just made my day. By the way, you have one new notification. When you see the yellow light ring on your device, it means you have a notification or message. Just say. Okay, that's enough. Stop, Alexa. Okay, she's just taking over the whole show. You know how these things are. <laughs> but I got her so she could be my assistant. I thought that I could tell her to put things on notes and lists for me so that I could then say, hey, what's on my shopping list or what's on my order lists or all those things, but I never remember to use her. So now she just listens to my conversations. Yeah. <laughs> Carrie's Alexa is talking too. Sorry, you guys. Anyways, this paper, I'm giving away a quarter of it and look at how thick this is. This is a quarter of the paper. So I'm excited to be giving this to Kathy Bradley and Kathy, I might need your address. Um, well, let me see. Shella, I have your address. Kathy Bradley, I'm not sure if I have your address. So I might need it. If you see this, please email me. 
Kelly at estampabub.com. I am going to try to look you up. You might be um, in my system, but I'm not sure because I forgot to look. So sorry about that. Anyways, this whole pack of paper is for um, her funny comment on YouTube. Usually it's for sharing my video. So if you click on that share button right now, if Facebook doesn't delete my video, I will pick a name from the people who shared. But since they deleted my video from last week, I don't know why, I had to go out to YouTube. And Kathy Bradley left a very funny comment about the neighbor situation and the police last week. And it made me laugh. And so this is this was my winner. I just picked, I said, you're gonna win something. <laughs> Okay, next up for placing an order with me. I um, have this fun, mischievous My Stamp set. This was a host exclusive set from our last catalog. We have the Caroling Mice in our annual catalog right now. Or is it in here? Let me, oh, maybe it's in here. Oh, I think it is. Hang on. I think I'm wrong. Yep, the Caroling Mice is right here. And again, it's host exclusive. You can get it with a $150 order or when you have a party. But this is going out to Sherry Bates of Buckley, Washington. Sherry, this is on its way to you. I know you're gonna love it. This is such a fun little set. So those are my prizes from my Facebook Live YouTube last week. Since Facebook has, we had this love-hate relationship. <clears throat> are we ready to stamp? I have some, I have a fun fold and then I have another really neat card that's kind of a different shape, kind of. Um, and we're gonna be using the hippos. <laughs> like, who doesn't love the hippos? They're so cute, right? And I think we'll do the hippo card first, and then we'll do the fun fold. And I think you guys are gonna love both of these because they're abs they're just so sweet. So sweet. Okay. Oh yeah, there's the flowers, okay. I'm gonna flip my camera around right now. Congratulations to the winners. Randy, that is so nice of you. Thank you so much. I always love it when you guys cheer each other on, right? Um, that's good sportsmanship. I'm big on that. I'm very big on good sportsmanship. Okay. Here we go. Oh, and I have to tell you guys, oh, here's my iPad so I can see your comments now. I am um, not too ashamed to tell you that I just ate a Twix out of here. This is from my trip to Utah. And um, I'm not gonna lie, there's some more candy in here, but the Twix, the caramel was like shrunk down to be almost crunchy because this is kind of old. Do you guys ever find old candy and eat it? Like this looks really good, I'm gonna have to try that. <laughs> so I just needed some candy today, so I grabbed that, and it, it really wasn't that great, but it hit the spot. So hippos, maybe too much information again. Let me get my um, iPad up here to where I can read it. Now, this is my current host code. What is that all about? Oh, I think I'm a little crooked, hang on. Oh, that looks better, sorry about the wiggle. Um, this host code, you use this if you place an order with me and your order's under $150, okay? Now, I just talked about the paper that you can get when you have Stampin' Rewards when your order's over $150. Don't use this code if you put in an order over $150 because you're gonna get the rewards and I want you to have them. But when you use this code, if it's under $150, nobody would get the rewards, but you're giving them to me so then I can order door prizes and stuff like that with it. So it's really beneficial. And I appreciate it. And I'm still crooked. And that's going to make me crazy. And I'm sorry. But I need to get this straightened out. Hang on. Okay. I think we're good. Now, hip is hippos. Both of these items are free during celebration. You can't order these. You can't buy them. Okay? You can only get them free. Hippest Hippos has seven different adorable stamps in it. And then we have the dies, which are called... Hang on. Hippo dies, and there are 19 different dies in here that go along to make some really super fun cards with this hippo set. So we're gonna be using that. 
We're also going to be using the Stylish Shapes dies, and I really, really like this set of dies, you guys. It's got, mm, oh, hang on, of course it has to be over the number 15 different dies in here, and they're all stitched, so that's always fun. So I'm going to, hang on, I'm going to pull out this Littlest Banner, and then the uh, one, two, three, fourth largest circle. So we've got, yep, these two. Here, let's get this out of here. I'll show you the whole thing. I'm not in any hurry tonight. I hope you guys aren't in any hurry either because we're going to have some fun and I'm not going to rush because I've had a day, right? <laughs> had quite a day today with all the moving excitement. And here we go. Then I took Val for a ride in the car to put her to sleep because she was getting a little mouthy. <laughs> yep, she gets a little mouthy when she gets tired. Like, you'll say, hey, close the door. She's got the door open. Close the door. And she'll go, no. And I'm like, oh, oh no, sister. We're not talking to me like that. So then we have, then we have some words. <laughs> so I took her for a ride, and she fell asleep within like three minutes. It was hilarious. I did that yesterday, too. <laughs> she wasn't mouthy yesterday, but I could tell she was tired. Okay, so we've got all of these. I've got my stamps mounted. I've got my dies out that we're going to use. Um, I have la, 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 dark polished pink. Um, I've got the SU900. That's what the color is. There was a whole set of skin tone colors that Stampin' Up! brought out. And so this is one of them. And I've got dark granny apple green and then also my stamp and write black marker. Okay. So, oh, and this cool ribbon. This is the Parakeet Party Metallic Woven Ribbon. We're going to use that too. Where's my card stuck? Right here. Now, I was pretty excited to be giving away that quarter pack of the Celebrate Everything Designer Series paper because that gave me the opportunity to show it to you. We're using it on this card. Oh, I got to get a scrap. Hang on. I got to have a scrap of white. Here's a good scrap. Okay. So this paper that Kathy Bradley is winning because she said something funny about our little disgruntled neighbor. <laughs> this pack of paper is what we're going to use for the card that I'm making right now. We're using this and then we're using this green. It's got Christmas trees and then green. So we're going to use this and what I'm going to do, I've got, now remember I've got free downloads on my blog. When we are done with this video, it takes me a while I have to put together a blog post and photograph and type everything up. So by tomorrow, usually, I have a blog post that has a free download. So all these cards that I'm going to make tonight, which is two, not all, but two, um, you're going to be able to get a free download on my blog where you can print it out or save it to your device or however you do that. So that you will always have the dimensions and the colors and all the things in a picture of what I'm making. This is our basic white thick cardstock. This is five and a half by eight and a half. I have scored it at four and a quarter. I always score the basic white thick because it's a little bit thicker than our regular cardstock. It really does need to be scored. Then I have a piece of four by five and a quarter Celebrate Everything designer series paper. Look at these black and white Christmas trees. I think these are really cool, but this is the side we're gonna use. Then I have a piece of three and three quarters by three and a half of the polka dots. And then I've got a one inch strip one by four here that we'll do something with. I'm not quite sure yet. Okay, so uh, first thing I'm going to do is put our card base part together. And so I know that my three and three quarter inch side is the side that's going to go across the top of my card. Okay. Now, um, we're going to take a pencil and we are going to make a mark. Hang on at two inches. So I'm just going to bring this down here in my paper trimmer and I'm going to mark it at 
two inches right there, okay? So I just put a little mark at two inches on the bottom. This is the three and three quarter inch edge, right? Yep, three and three quarters by three and a half. Okay, now we're gonna take our um, paper cutter, our paper trimmer, and we're going to put that mark that we made on, on our, our piece of designer series paper right in the channel. And then we're just going to tilt it. Now, I don't do anything too crazy here. I don't measure it. I don't think it's necessary. You can eyeball it and cut that off. No big deal, okay? Then we're gonna do the same thing to this side. And I'm not gonna cut it the same. So that's even better, right? You don't even need to worry. I'm just gonna put it in here like this. You can always cut more off. So this is what we have. We have kind of a short little edge and then kind of a long little edge. And I really love the way that looks. Now you wanna erase your little pencil mark if you can still see it. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it right on our cardstock like that. And I have been seeing a lot of cards made like this. And you can measure and you can do all the things or whatever, but does it really matter? At the end of the day, does it make any difference whether you're an inch and a half or two inches? and then two and a half inches down from the side. It makes no difference. Just use that point as your center. Cut it, just cut it. Make your life easy. Life is so complicated. We need just some easy stuff, right? And don't worry, because the next card we're making, you're gonna need to get your big girl panties on because it's not this simple. <laughs> I'm just warning you right now. <laughs> it's pretty cool though. I think you're gonna love it. And I've done everything that I can to make it easier than what I've seen by others. So I'm, I'm always kind of a, I make a kind of a big deal about that because I really like things to be easy. Okay, here comes our card. And I am going to add this right to the front. I love the color combination here. I love the design, the prints on this designer paper. And that whole pack of paper comes with like 48 sheets in 12 by 12. It's not even six by six, you guys. It is 12 by 12 paper. It's a ton of paper. I feel like I need a little piece of glue here. Hang on, a little piece of glue, a little dot of glue. Okay, here's our card front. Now, the other things that we're gonna do here is I think I would just take this and put it right here. We're not going to stamp anything on the inside. You certainly could if you wanted to, but I just want to keep this kind of simple. This piece is one by four, and I just thought it would be nice to carry that color over to the inside. It's just kind of a nice decoration. Then we're going to take our envelope flap here, and we're going to add some glue to it. I've got the same designer paper. This is two and a half by six inches and we're gonna decorate up this envelope flap. I love to do this. And I love to do it because number one, it uses my paper and I don't feel like a hoarder. How's that sound? <laughs> After Haley did really good, her and Jared don't, they're, they're not, um, they don't have a lot of, you know, a lot of junk piled up and whatever. So that's really good, but um, I kind of feel like a hoarder because my attic is full of junk <laughs> and so is my basement. So now I feel like after I help them move today that I need to go clean, but we need to stamp first, so don't worry. <laughs> okay, next up, we've got scraps. So we're going to die cut the circle. And by the way, let me, if you don't have these dies, I'll tell you about how big it is. Um, from the die cut, oh, let's see, yep, die cut line, it is a two inch circle, okay? So we've got a two inch circle here, and then we're gonna use the smallest of the banners, and I am going to die cut both of these. And here we go. That was magical, wasn't it? Okay, now we're gonna do a little stamping, and I think you guys are gonna absolutely love this. We're gonna use Memento Black Ink, and I'm going to stamp, oh, did I, where'd my little thing go? Huh, oh, here it is. <laughs> like, where'd that little banner go? Okay, love you a ton. Now, I'm gonna have to kind of get over top of this so I can see what's going on. 
Oh, that turned out really good. Isn't that just sweet? It's cute. Okay, so here's our love you a ton. And then we're gonna take this circle and we're gonna stamp our little hippopotamus. Now remember, this stamp set is free with your $50 order. The dies that, that go along, you know, they match it. They cut out all the hippos and then a whole bunch of other stuff. They're also free with another $50 order. So it's a pretty cool deal. All right, we're gonna close that and we are going to do a little coloring. And I'm going to, hang on, I've got things falling over down here. I am going to color this little mug. <laughs> I just think these little things are the sweetest. Now this again is the SU900 Skin Tone Stampin' Blend Alcohol Marker. And I'm gonna come in here. And one of the things that you can color this entire hippo and make it just, you know, stinking adorable. It's super duper easy. But I wanted to do this this way because this is gonna show you another option. We've got that, the hippos, ouch. <laughs> I just stabbed myself with this end. <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot that I didn't put that lid on. Okay. Don't worry, I'm not bleeding. Um, now we're gonna come in with the dark polished pink. And we'll get that little flower colored. I've got the dark granny apple just for that little leaf. Cute. And now instead of coloring our hippopotamus in gray, we're going to actually color him with a black marker. And you're like, but Kelly, hippopotamuses are not black. We're gonna make him a cow. Have you guys seen any of these? Yeah, it's a super, super cute idea. So here's how you turn your hippopotamus into a cow. You're just gonna come in here and you're gonna make some little cow marks. And you can do as many little cow marks as you want. Their little toes need to be black. Like that's their hooves. So you kind of just color right over them. And here's another little cow. Their little hooves holding that flower. Those you just color right over. There we go. What do you guys think? of my little cow. Wasn't that simple and super duper cute? <gasps> Thank you guys for the hearts. Oh my gosh, who is making cows tonight out of hippopotamus stamps? <laughs> I love it. Okay, let me grab my dimensionals and we will put the rest of these together. Oh, here I got some of these. I'm gonna need some of these and some of these. Oh, that's empty. Okay. Oh, I had some small ones in here earlier and now they're gone. Oh, great. That's what always happens to me. I'm going to get my mini glue dots out. Um, hang on just a second. I'm going to grab some minis. of them over here but now they're not in my bin so I don't know where they went and here comes a new pack Ugh, it's just like a new Versamark pack right you gotta love it okay we are going to put some dimensionals on the back of our circle and we're gonna put some mini dimensionals on the back of our little whoops banner whoops come on there we go Good grief. I was trying to get away. Oh, I have one stuck here. That's probably why things weren't working right. <laughs> okay, we got that. 
then I am going to take my bow jig and I think I want just a little bit bigger bow here. Now, these bow jigs are super easy to make. I've explained this a gazillion times, but all you do is drill holes in a piece of wood and the middle holes are an inch apart. So one inch and then half inch and half inch, that's it. This is my nail and you tie beautiful bows every single time. Absolutely love the bow jig. If you don't have anybody that can make one for you, I do sell them, they're $10, and all you have to do is email me, kelly at astampabove.com, and I will send you an invoice for $10, and you can order one, but they're really cool. Okay, we're going to Get this over here. Where's my favorite tool ever? Here we go. I haven't even gotten it out yet. This is my take your pick tool. If you don't have one of these, you must have one. <laughs> like it's, it's a must have. I use this for just about everything and I love it. So we're gonna take this little cow, little hippo cow, <laughs> put her down there or him. I'm gonna put this right over here. Then we're going to use our take your pick tool again to pick up and curl up a glue dot. I'm gonna put that glue dot right down here. And I like to curl it up so that you don't have it all sticking out from underneath this thin little knot. And there comes that. And I just didn't really feel like I needed to put any embellishments on here because it's sinking adorable, but I do have some rhinestones. Ooh, I've got some of these here too. Let's see what they look like. Let's try it. I'll do, mm, I got a little smudge right there. So <laughs> that's a good place for an embellishment, right? Uh, let's do one there and we'll do another one right there. Oh, what do you guys think? Is that not the cutest little thing ever? Ah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Yes, Jan says that the bow jig is easy and it's it really does work. Well, you saw how super easy it was for me to tie that bow. And um, they're perfect every single time. All right, I'm gonna throw all of these in here so we can get to our next project. I kinda like to keep everything in a bin so that I don't forget to put it in the PDF file when I type it up, <laughs> right? Yeah, oh, let me get these in here too. Thank you guys so much for your kind comments. I so appreciate it. But you saw how super duper easy that was to turn that cow or that hippo into a cow, right? It is just so easy. And I love it when stamp sets are versatile like that. Like you can do other things with them because it just increases the value personally for me if I can do a whole bunch of stuff with one stamp set that was meant for something else, right? Okay. Next, oh my gosh, this is the bomb. This card that we're gonna make next is so cool. And uh, let's see, where's my instructions? I've got, my instructions are right here. So you'll, again, you'll find these typed up in a PDF file as soon as I get everything loaded tonight. We're going to be using the Ringed With Love Designer Series paper. And this particular paper, I like to give you guys lots of ideas for the celebration items so you can like really get a good feel for, oh, I have to have that paper. Or maybe it's not for you. You know what I mean? But here is the Rings of Love Designer Series paper. It is free with a $50 order. You get 12 sheets of 12 by 12. And it's all double-sided and it's really really beautiful there's just so many different things going on in this paper I love it this is great for like housewarming or welcome to the neighborhood or whatever get well soon happy anniversary doesn't really matter right beautiful beautiful paper so we're gonna be using this paper it is also part of the ringed with nature class that I do with Barb and Dina. And like I said, I do have some packets left of this class. So other than the idea I'm gonna do for you tonight, if you ordered the um, kit class, you would get six additional ideas with the ring with nature um, bundle. 
So I'm also going to show you, let's find that. It's in here. Here we go. Uh, this is on page 62. Here we go. This is the Ringed with Nature bundle. So not only do you have this stamp set that has 22 different stamps in it, but you also have, let me pull that out. Here's the stamp set, which is gorgeous. And I just have to say that that get well soon sentiment is in there because I requested it. And I'm not being funny. <laughs> I really am not. So um, Stampin' Up! had this kind of in the works, but they didn't really know what the set was going to look like. And when I was trying to decide um, on my million dollar stamp set, they asked me if I would like to go in and use this as my million dollar stamp set. And then I could tell them what I wanted or didn't want or whatever. And um, I requested a get well soon in there because I, I think we need more get well sentiments. So anyways, and then I decided not to use this. <laughs> so, and for those of you that are going to ask, my million dollar stamp set will be coming out in the annual catalog for 2023. It's a very long process to get that done. So um, we'll get to see it next year. So anyways, we've got Ringed with Nature. And the bundle has not only these dies in it, there's 16 different dies, but it also comes with the Tree Rings Hybrid Embossing Folder. And they call it a hybrid embossing folder because you can put your cardstock in here. And I'll just do this right now while we're talking about it. You can put your cardstock in here. You can also die cut at the same time. So I'm gonna put my cardstock, this is Crumb Cake cardstock. And I'm going to get my hair out of my embossing folder, perhaps. There we go. <laughs> and I'm going to put this, and it kind of snaps right in here. You can feel it, it's secure now. And we are going to close that, and you're gonna run this through your embossing machine. And you would run this through on the um, sandwich for the 3D embossing folders. So hang tight. And I will show you what that is. You get, your embossing machine comes with this gray plate. This is the number four plate. You're going to take all of these off. We've got the number two plate and both cutting plates. You're going to take all those off. You're going to set this in your machine and you're going to run it through with number four on top. And it's a little snug, don't let that, oh my goodness. <laughs> don't let that worry you. I gotta show you guys what just happened. Hang on, things are falling apart. This just fell over. Yeah, I don't know why. I must not have had it on there. Oh, I know, I moved something last week. Okay, so I'll just push those, I just pushed them all off to the side. Don't worry, nobody got hurt. Here comes our embossing folder. Again, this is called a hybrid embossing folder because it embosses and die cuts at the same time, which is super cool. And it used to scare me. Like I didn't like to put the the die and the and emboss at the same time because I'm like, oh my gosh, that just doesn't seem right. But it really is. It works. So ready for this? Here comes our tree rings. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? I just think this is like magic. Now, my piece of cardstock wasn't big enough to not cut off the ends of these little ones, but I didn't care because I just want this one. But what I do with these leftover ones is I take them and I put them in my stamp case. See, <laughs> I've got some acorns in here. I've got a lot of tree rings in here and I'll use them for something else. But this is how the hybrid embossing folder works with the dies. Isn't that cool? Oh, I know. I was pretty impressed with it. Okay, so we got that done. I'll set that aside. And I'll just keep bringing in the stuff, okay? We didn't do that yet. We've got Poppy Parade and Soft Suede Ink. And then I've got the Rustic Metallic Adhesive Back Dots. I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna use those. 
<laughs> Judith, I'm happy to see you on here tonight. She goes, wowzers. I know, right? It's pretty cool. And they used to, they used to scare me, these did. But I, I think I'm okay with them now. And there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just cardstock. <laughs> um, we're going to maybe use linen thread. I don't know. I haven't actually made this card yet. And this is the textural elements. And these are so fun. These are actually, these are wooden and you can color them. So we're going to see what we're going to do here. We, we don't know yet. We'll figure it out as we go along. Here comes all of our cardstock layers. Now, remember I said, remember, it let's use good English here. I said that we were going to be doing a fun fold tonight and that you needed to get your big girl panties on. This fun fold is, it's a little bit involved. It's not super simple like this, right? This was a really fun, easy layout, but I've simplified it and I think you guys are really gonna like it and I hope you will try it because it is worth it. So with that being said, don't be afraid. Nobody's gonna have nightmares. <laughs> We're going to do this. So here comes our card base. We have a card base of five by seven. This is Poppy Parade. I've got a one by nine and a half inch crumb cake piece. This is gonna be a belly band. I've got basic white, and this is uh, three and three quarters by four and three quarters for the inside. I have scraps. We've got pear pizzazz, which I almost called certainly celery again. I keep doing that. Poppy parade and soft suede scraps. So we'll just set those aside. I've got a 3 8 inch strip of basic white. And then here comes our panels, you guys. And this is where people get scared because they see all these pieces. Please don't let this scare you. I want you to try this card because it is so cool. You're going to like almost wet your pants. Not even kidding. <laughs> okay, let me tell you about these. Remember, there will be a free download with all the dimensions, all the things and pictures in it. Okay, and a link back to this video. So we have two panels of Poppy Parade. Both of these are two by five and a half. So we got two of those. Then we have two panels of Poppy Parade again. These are both one and a half by five and a quarter. Pretty simple so far, right? This particular set of panels is one and a half by four and a half. We need to do a little scoring to this and to our card base. So let's do that. Okay, our card base. We are going to score, I'm gonna pull my arm out here. Not my real arm, my trimmer arm. What are you guys drinking tonight? What are you drinking? Uh, I've got my strawberry lemonade. Thank you for sharing this info. I've been on the fence about ordering. You're welcome, you're very welcome, Sherry. Oh, by the way, I wanted to mention to you guys, there have been some trolls that are, um, there have been some trolls that will comment. Like if you comment and say, oh, that's really cool. They will reply to your comment and say, hi, Mary. Um, I really think you're attractive. I really liked your comment. I would be interested in getting to know you better. I'm trying to make friends on Facebook, blah, blah, blah. Ignore, okay? If you see it, report it to me. I'll go in, I will delete their comment. I will block them from ever commenting again. But they're, scam they're trying to scam people and they're thinking that you're going to answer them and strike up a friendship. Don't do it, okay? No matter what, don't listen to anything they say. They're probably sitting over in a foreign country trying to scam money off of people who fall prey to them. With that being said, just ignore it. Okay, back to this. Five by seven. Ooh, flavored water, black cherry. Yeah. Um, I am looking at, oh, coffee. Ingrid's drinking coffee. Ingrid, isn't it hot there in Utah? <laughs> Barbara's having a little wine. You know what? Oh, so um, one of my team members, Sarah, she is the most thoughtful, kind person ever. She brought me a birthday present. And oh, she was apologizing all over the place because it was late. Who cares, Sarah? 
she, I'll show you the plant when we're done making this card, but she bought me this succulent that is so cute. She brought me um, a pack of adult freeze pops. <laughs> and then her mother told her that she better get some kid freeze pops too because you don't want the kids getting confused and taking the adult freeze pops. <laughs> so funny and a gorgeous card. So we'll, I'll share all that when we're done here. Okay, back to our regular scheduled program. We're gonna score this. We need a score line at a half inch. So I like to go this way to do the half inch. Here comes our score at a half an inch. Then I'm gonna turn it around and go that way at one and a half. Oh, hang on, I gotta get rid of my beeping on my computer. I told you guys I got a new laptop, right? I bought a new MacBook Air and I'm pretty not excited about it because you know, that's a lot of work to get a new computer set up. Five and a half. And so it's still in the box. <laughs> because I have a love-hate relationship with that type of thing also. Six and a half. I'll read these to you guys again. I know I'm jibber-jabbering, right? Okay, so half inch, one and a half, five and a half, six and a half. This is it, okay? Now, these two smallest panels, these little buggers that were one and a half by four and a half, we're gonna score those. We need to score them at a half an inch and one, Oh, wait, sorry, we're not done with this yet. So we've scored like this. This is scoring on the long side. The long side is up here. Now we're gonna turn to the short side and we're gonna score a half an inch, but we're only gonna score from here to here, just here to that first score line. So here comes, I've got it at a half an inch. I'm gonna score just like that. See what we got going on there? Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I just flipped it over and I'm gonna push it up to a half an inch and I'm just gonna score up to that score line. Same thing, okay? Then we're gonna cut this little corner off. Are you guys with me so far? Nobody is having any type of panic attack. I promise you, this is so simple. You're gonna just be like, what? <gasps> I can't wait to make it. Well, it's not that simple, but <laughs> I'm trying to make it really easy. Okay, these are your small panels now. With these, we're gonna score at a half inch and one inch on the short side. So this is the short side. This is up against the baseboard. We're gonna go with a half an inch. And this is a little tricky because you gotta kind of leave that sit there, right? Half an inch. And then we're gonna go up to one inch. You gotta keep it nice because you can't hang on to it while you're doing this. And that's it. So now you've got three different panels on here. We're gonna do the same thing to the other one half inch, whoops, that moved. See how that happens. There we go. Half inch, one inch. This is the hardest part of the card. <laughs> that's, that's the truth. Okay, here we go. Now, we're going to do an accordion fold with these, and you do need to burnish these really good, so get your bone folder out. that. Okay, that's what we got. Ooh, look, that'll stand up all by itself. And then we're going to do this one. And this one. Yesterday I was at the grocery store when um, Jared messaged me and Haley saying that his mom was making um, hot beef sandwiches for the move today. And I was there buying pork to do pulled pork and chips and dip and brownies and all the things. So we bought, I bought all that stuff and we're still making it all. And then we're gonna give it to Haley and Jared because you know, when you move, like who has time to cook? You're trying to get your life in order, right? So yeah, so Steve's got that going right now. And it smells really good. That was my whole point in telling you that. <laughs> okay. Now, we've got four score lines, right? One, two, three, four. We're gonna fold in that second one, just like that. So you're gonna go in, just kind of like a gatefold card, okay? Just like that. Now we're gonna take this one and we're gonna fold it backwards, just like that. And just like that. You wanna burnish them really good. Now we're gonna open these up and we're gonna cut from this corner 
of that square we cut out up to the score line. This is almost it for all the picky putsy little directions, you guys. Again, from that score line down to that corner. So this is what we have. Okay, pretty simple, right? Okay, now we need designer series paper. This is the paper that I chose to use. It's the Ringed with Love, and I picked out, isn't it just beautiful? This is free with your $50 order. I picked out this paper right here, okay? Because I really love those little mushrooms. I just think they're so sweet. So I cut it already, and I glued it on just to save us a little bit of time. So these were our big panels, right? I already told you about cutting these out. Our designer paper on the big panels is one and three quarters by five and a quarter. On the next size panels, our designer paper is one and a quarter by five. And I've just glued the pieces on here. Okay, here we go. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the bigger panels we got these two big ones. These two are smaller, right? We're gonna take the big panels. Make sure that if you have a definite pattern, like this is going a direction, this is directional paper, make sure that you have it going right side up. So this is the easiest thing. Oh, by the way, did I tell you guys this is called a floating panel card? You're gonna be so fancy when you make this. You're gonna be so fancy. So we're gonna put glue right here on that panel. We're gonna take the, one of the big panels, we're gonna hold this down, and we are going to line it up with the outside. Oh crap, this is the wrong size. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, is it? Hang on. Uh, no, it's okay, we're good. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, what did I do wrong? We're good, I just forgot that it was actually taller. You're gonna line it up with the edge of your card right here, okay? We're gonna do that, and when you're done, this is what it looks like. Just like that, okay? We're gonna do the same thing over here. So, let's put some glue on this front tab panel. And now, hold this closed, hold this closed, this, lines up with the bottom and the right hand side of your card and you're going to make it meet right in the middle just like that so now it's like a gatefold card right okay but it just goes like that isn't that cool it's not cool enough so just hang tight <laughs> now we have these things and here's the deal with these things we need these panels, this outside open part needs to go towards the outside of the card. So this is a backward Z. And we're going to take that and we are going to put it right in the middle of this. Only down to the edge of our designer series paper. So let me do that. Here we go. In the middle right down to the edge of the designer series paper. And there's no need to measure, do all that stuff. You just throw it in the middle. It's gonna be okay. This one is gonna look like a Z. Oh, hang on, let me think about this. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm a liar. This one, so this one opens up this way, and this one opens up this way, okay? And I'll show this to you in just a second again when I hold it up. Right in the middle, down to the bottom edge of the designer series paper. So the thing that really matters with these two is that they go like this. This is the outside edge, this is the outside edge. Outside, outside, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we are going to take these and we're gonna glue these to the front right here. Are you guys with me? Are you still with me? Is nobody's fallen asleep yet or just like run from the room screaming, right? <laughs> these are gonna go all the way to the bottom 
of the card. And again, you're just gonna center it. So you can see the designer paper on each side to get this centered. It's super easy. Nobody's run from the room screaming yet. <laughs> Here comes the next one. Again, line it up with the bottom of the card and center it just like this. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so, so cool. So I showed you guys a card last week that I got from Mary using this technique. It was a little different, but we'll, we'll make that one too. Don't worry, not tonight, but do you see what's happening here? This is called a floating panel card. And this will fit. Oh, I forgot to get out an envelope. Hang on, I'll get an envelope. This will fit in a regular size envelope, okay? And then I'm gonna grab a piece of this paper and we're going to cut it at two and a half so that we can have some pretty paper to put on our envelope flap. Hang on, I just got sidewindered for a second because I it like made me crazy that I forgot my envelope. Like, what are you doing, Kelly? Make sure that my paper's going right side up here. So my mushrooms and my butterflies and stuff aren't upside down. <gasps> Isn't that so pretty? Okay, hang on. <laughs> so we basically have our floating panel mechanism done. Now, do you have like five million different kinds of ideas going through your head? I'm trying to read. <gasps> I know, Patty says, oh my gosh, that is so cool. I know. Hang on. Here we go. There's our beautiful, whoo, I'm getting hot. I'm having a little hot flash. Hang on, Wendy. I got my hot flash cooling mist. I'm gonna spray it, not in my eyes. I did that once, you guys. It, was, it wasn't really that funny. <laughs> it burned. Oh, that feels so nice though. Okay, so we got this done. This is our, this is the, this is the whole fun fold part, but now we need to make a belly band or something, right? We need something on the front. You could at this point take and do like a rectangle or some type of an oval or a circle and mount it on one of these sides, you know, whatever. But we're gonna do a belly band. Here's what's gonna happen. We got a little bit of stamping to do, so hang tight. I'm gonna bring in my piercing mat. This is our three and three quarters by four and three quarters white layer. Whoops, oops, hang on. My, my cow is trying to get in on the action. <laughs> the cow is going, whoa, Kelly. Okay, we are going to use our mushroom stems with soft suede ink. And I am going to stamp those right down here. Then I'm going to grab, ah, look what I did, hang on. I'm going to grab my Poppy Parade ink and wipe my fingers off now. Isn't it red? It's always red, isn't it? Red is such a mess, always. Okay, enough whining. Enough whining about being a mess. Here comes our little mushroomy deals. These are super cute. I think these would make great gumdrops too, you guys. So we're gonna line these up. Just like that. Oh my gosh, look how cute they are. Ah, I love them. Okay, let's put this away. Um, where did our little, hang on, I got little pieces someplace. There it is. Okay, we still need this. That's what I was thinking. I'm like, oh, did I use this color or the other one? So I haven't actually made this card, but I stamped up some of the elements just so I would look like I knew fairly well what I was doing. <laughs> yeah, well, you, you guys understand that, right? Okay, here comes our get well soon. That's in here because of me. I just wanted to say that one more time. <laughs> I think that's so funny. Um, then we're gonna grab our tree ring and a sponge dauber, and we're gonna use that soft suede ink and we're gonna add some color right around the outside of this tree ring, and it's gonna look like the bark. You, you guys know what I'm saying, right? Look like the bark of the tree. And it's just this simple to make that happen. 
My goodness, look how cool that is. Oops, let's get a little more ink over there. Have a little more. There we go. Look at that tree ring. Isn't that cool? I know. I know, right? Okay. Whew, I'm hot. <sighs> hot mess. Okay. <laughs> Enough of my personal problems. We are going to glue this in here. Oh, this is a little bit shorter. Oh, jeez Louise. What did I just do? Hang on. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Got away from me there. Now my fingers are sticky. It's going to get real here shortly. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna open this up and we're gonna put this on the inside. This is a little bit shorter and smaller than a regular card inside, but it's because we cut this part off up here, right? <gasps> Look at how cute that is. I love these. Okay, enough about that. Now we are going to take, oh, uh, our dies. We're gonna grab our dies and bring out all the little goodies here. So we have the little mushroom. Okay, we're gonna do a couple of those. We're gonna do some of these really neat leaves. These are um, not only die cut, but they emboss little veins in the leaves too and make the like the trees look like they're like have a wood grain in them. Gosh, words are hard sometimes, aren't they? And then I'm going to grab my mushroom stems. So we've got soft suede, poppy parade, and pear pizzazz. We're gonna die cut all of these. Hang tight while I do some magic. Now, when you get this set, this is your mushroom top, but it's also your acorn bottom. Okay, so here's our little acorn. So it's got double duty. It's a mushroom top, but it's also an acorn. So just know that. All right, here's all our bits and pieces. I did a couple of these up so that in case I ruined them, <laughs> I wouldn't have to redo them. So I'm kind of lazy like that. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this and we're going to put the belly band around here and we're gonna put this tree log, tree ring right in the middle. So we're going to do some things where we're going to attach these leaves to the back of our tree ring. And this is the part I haven't really done yet. So this is what's gonna happen. And I don't wanna put tape on there because I don't wanna see a big mess on the back of this piece when you take your belly band off. So I'm gonna use some uh, mini glue dots. That'll be nice and neat, I think. And it'll be just a little bit easier than glue. So I'm gonna take this and put it right on here. There we go. We can keep it stuck to that, not my finger, okay? I'm gonna set this down like this so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna put this on here, mm -hmm. just like that. Okay, so there we go. I wanna make sure everything fits on my card too, right? You don't want this hanging off the edge over here, so you gotta kinda of do dry fits to make sure everything's looking good. Here comes another one. And all I'm doing is just like sprucing this up with all of this, all these little elements. And they're gonna look super, super cute. So I don't want it to look like it's a straight arrow going across there. So maybe I'll just do this one a little bit like that, okay? And I think sometimes it's nice to hear the creative process, like why did you do what you did? And I like to kind of explain that because I like things, I like to have things explained to me so I know what's going on. Okay, so here comes another one. I'm just gonna put that right there, okay? We're going to take this and I think I'm just gonna cut it straight, you guys. I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of there if we can find them. Does anybody see them? Oh, here they are. Here comes our dimensionals. Is this our piece? Yes. Put some dimensionals on there. All right, we got that going on. Oh, ah, I pulled the back off of it. Okay, so that's gonna go, I don't know, right about here. 
Then we're going to put our mushrooms together and I'm gonna put those on dimensionals too, but I'm gonna use the dimensionals to hold my mushrooms together. So let's do this. Grab a big one. Sometimes it's just the little elements, right? We got the card down, we know what we're doing there. But now we gotta finalize all these little elements. I don't wanna see my dimensionals from the front, so you gotta be kinda of careful about that. Here comes another one. I'm just gonna lay it down in there and then hit it with the dimensional. So the dimensional's holding the stem on. Okay. I didn't pull the backing off this other one back here yet, so we'll do that. Then we'll do this, and I think, I think I would like a little bit of dimensional on my stem, and that's where the edges on these mini dimensionals come in really handy, because you, they're um, wide and you can cut them super thin. So here comes this, and we're gonna do that. I saw somebody use the easy peasy. There we go. And here comes another one. There we go. Okay. We are good. So tomorrow I have to go to the dentist, you guys. And oh my gosh, I just hate going to the dentist. I really like my dentist. He's a funny man. Which, you know, I like funny. I just hate going to the dentist. Like, it's my most horrible ugh, ever. Oh my gosh, look how cute this is. So wish me luck tomorrow with that dentist thing. <gasps> look at how cute that is, you guys. I, didn't, I haven't made this yet, so I didn't know how cute it was going to be. But I knew it was going to be pretty cute. <laughs> Not going to lie. Okay, here comes our belly band. So what you're going to do here is I like to just kind of wrap my belly band. I don't like to score it because that just is a lot of, you know, it's just as easy to do it this way, right? And then I like to kind of pull it off. See how it's crooked? Make it straight. Then push it down so then I dry fit it again. You don't want this to be too tight because it needs to slide off too. So keep that in mind. And then I'm going to not make this too tight. Now, one thing I can tell you is when you're dealing with something that's folded like this, it is a good idea to use something stronger than glue or a tape runner. So we're gonna use a little bit of tear and tape here on, I just wanna make sure this isn't, okay, this isn't too tight. We're gonna use a little tear and tape here. I'll put a little bit right here, and then I'll put a little bit on this side just like that. That's the best way to get this exactly where it needs to go so you don't run over and get it stuck to the card or whatever. Oops. And make sure you like kind of, got to kind of push it down to make sure it sticks to your paper when you go to peel this backing off. Okay, here we go. Who's got an eye appointment? Marcia does. You don't like going to those. Well, I certainly get that. I just got new glasses, so I had fun at the eye doctor. <laughs> but I know what you're saying, Marcia. Okay, here's our belly band. Are we ready to put our beautiful tree ring on here? Are you guys ready for the reveal? Ah! I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm going to do this and this and this. And I think that'll all come down within the tree ring area. Oh my good grief. Look at this, you guys. Look at how, let me get all this junk out of the way. I want a beautiful presentation here. Did you see me just fling that right on the floor? Look at how cute this is, you guys. What do you think? <gasps> Look at, oh, this is a get well card. This is gonna make somebody get well really fast. Like, right? <laughs> Like they are going to miraculously get right out of their bed and just do a marathon because of how cute this card is. <laughs> Judy, you're so cute. Judy says, oh my gosh. <laughs> it is. And you guys saw how easy that was, right? Like this wasn't hard. 
But oh my goodness, isn't that spectacular? Again, this is called a floating panel card. Now, let me show you the other one that I got. This is the one that I got from Mary. Mary's on my team and she sent this to me for my birthday. This is a hamburger one and this is a hot dog one. So I'm thinking next week we will make something like this and I will give you another idea. I'll use some different designer paper. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I haven't figured that out yet. And I am not gonna make any promises. So here's the deal, you guys. I am going to be going on vacation next week. This is the week that Haley and Jared and the kids and Steve and I and Molly go camping for a week, the first week in August. And so I am not going to be live next weekend, but I am going to try as hard as possible to make you a live, not live video. And I think this is what we'll be making. So I'm also going to make the little box that goes with this because Mary shared that information with me. She's so good that way. Um, if you guys recall, we had this little box that matched the birthday card with the little cupcake and candle in it, which is stinking adorable. And I must make a gazillion of these because I'm definitely gonna be giving these to people for their birthdays. Um, it's just, you, you send a little bit more than a card, right? This is super duper cute. So, just so you know, let me grab this. These are the little cupcakes and I got this at our Family Dollar store, so they have them every place. They're Little Debbie. These are the perfect size to fit in this box. So if you guys wanna go shopping between now and then, you're gonna to wanna to have some of these. This is a great way that when you're meeting friends, you can include a little gift that costs you next to nothing with your card. And how cute, I love to do stuff like that. So we'll be making this hopefully in my Facebook Live, not live for next Sunday. Now, the chances that I'm gonna come up with two Facebook Live Not Lives because I'm going to be on vacation on July 31st and also on August 7th. Um, I think we're coming back on the 8th. The chances I'm going to do two Facebook Live Not Lives is pretty slim. I'm not going to lie. So um, I have a bunch of kits that still need to get out of here. This is Ringed with Nature. The designer series paper that we used is the Rings of Love and it is free with a $50 order. This comes with the hybrid embossing folder along with the dies where you emboss and die cut at the same time. And I have an online class that I still have some packets left. The class comes with the adhesive backed sequins. Oh, those are in here someplace too. Oh, I was gonna use these. But anyways, the class comes with the adhesive backed sequins, silver th threaded twine, red ruffled ribbon and a half or a quarter pack of the designer series paper is included in the kit. The kit is $45. If you need all of this stuff, it's going to be $95. It includes the bundle, the hybrid folder and the embossing folder, as well as a full pack of rings of love designer paper, a full roll of red ruffle ribbon and a full roll of silver threaded twine. So, um, $95 for the whole enchilada or $45 for the kit. That includes six pre-cut cardstock packs, or six pre-cut cards, and you will get um, a pre-cut cardstock pack with it. So I cut all your cardstock. Oh, I like these too, you guys. What do you think of these? What do you think of those on there? Isn't that cool? <gasps> Love it. Oh my gosh, this is the coolest card ever. How am I ever going to take pictures of this and give it the due diligence that it deserves? Okay, remember, don't get your belly band. Oops, hang on. I'm having some technical difficulties here. Don't get your belly band too tight because it needs to slide off. This will fit in an envelope. We actually have one. So I got things sticking right here. This fits right in an envelope. Don't, don't mess up your little embellishments. So be mindful when you're putting it in here. Uh, I just cranked a leaf. There you go. It's a little thick, not gonna lie. It's gonna require an extra whatever ounce thing, but it 
it's totally worth it, isn't it? I know. So all of my online classes can be found on my blog. If you scroll to the bottom of every blog post, you'll find a link to online classes. Otherwise, you can look for them in the right-hand column. And it says online classes. You're also going to find the $99 kit information. When you join my team, you get a discount on all your future orders. And you're also going to get that beautiful planner that I showed at the beginning. Don't forget, with every $50 that you order, you can get the dies for the hippos. You can get the stamp set for the hippos. You can get this designer series paper. Oh my goodness, there's just so much good stuff going on during celebration. Okay, so here were our two cards. What do you guys think? I just love these. Lisa, thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. All right, now I've got some mail to share with you. So I'm going to grab that. Hang tight. Make sure I get it all out here. I got a present this week. Well, I got the present from Sarah. So hang on. I'll show you that. Oh, my gosh. This plant, you guys. Oh, so cute. Look at this. I hope you can see it. Look at how beautiful it is. Isn't that just the coolest thing ever? Love it. Yeah, and look at these. These are sharp and they hurt. So this is like a desert plant, you know, because desert plants are kind of vicious. Got a little pokey deal up there. I love it. I think it's beautiful. It's going to sit on my shelf right behind me. And I am going to remember to water it. Yes, I am. I got to read the instructions though. Okay, so that was from Sarah. Let me show you the card that she made me. Hang on, I got to find it. Oops, I just dropped something. Oh, I got to show you this too. Hang on. Here's the card Sarah made for me. Look at this, you guys. This is the Charming Sentiments bundle with that beautiful in color glimmer paper. Oh, matching envelope. Isn't this just the coolest? Yeah, and it's just slices of paper at a little bit of an angle. I just think this is so cool. Maybe we'll make this next week too, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Anyways, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Sarah, you're the best, thank you so much. Next, I got a beautiful card from Susan Hine. Look at how pretty this is, you guys. She put Wink Stella on this flower and it's just stamped in like um, soft suede ink, very soft. I love this look. And this is whitewash, barn wood, that you can write on. So that was really cool. Now, Susan sent me this beautiful card because I donated a bunch of my Stamping Up supplies that were retired to her organization. And they make quilts for veterans and they make cards to go with all of this stuff. So she made, she, they make a whole bunch of cards out of the things that I donate to them. And she's always just so gracious and appreciative. She sent me this thank you gift, and this is a whole bundle of cards that I can send out as thank yous, because of course she knows that I send out a lot of thank you cards, right? Thank you cards for orders, thank you cards for all kinds of stuff. So these are all kinds of cards that Susan and her accomplices <laughs> in this wonderful charity have made to send out to people. So these are just so fantastic, Susan. Thank you so much. Look at this. What a dude. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I love these. Thank you so much. This was just so sweet of you. And I'm so glad that I can help you out. And you guys are helping me out, too, because it makes me feel like I'm giving a good home to all of my supplies. So thank you very much for taking them, actually. Now, Nancy came to pick up all of the stuff. And Nancy makes earrings. And she gave me these beautiful earrings. And she said that I better wear them. <laughs> Nancy, you can bet that I will. Aren't they pretty? I really like these and I will definitely wear them. And I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna hang them up right on my little calendar in front of my desk, look it. And I will definitely be wearing them. They're really pretty, very pretty. They're like crystals. <gasps> so fun. Okay, next up, we have Ginger Hellmead. Oh my gosh, Ginger, this is such a pretty card. I absolutely love it. 
And um, Ginger is thanking me for some happy mail that I sent her. And she was, um, she is part of my team and she had to move. So they moved from, let's see, they moved from Wisconsin down to Kansas City. And so she's trying to catch up on her life. So she's saying, oh, I'm so sorry. Don't you apologize for anything, Ginger. You, thank you for the card. It's beautiful. But hey, I totally get it. Like life gets crazy, right? Yeah. Okay, next up we have Linda Gilbert. Linda, oh my gosh, so sweet. Look at this. It's got a belly band, so we've got the belly band thing going on. And Linda is saying that she wanted to make sure that she, that I knew that she didn't forget my special day. And um, yeah, she says she's still in awe of all the inspiration and your team members bring, that my team members bring to everyone each week. So um, Linda is, Linda's from Minnesota and she is one of our team members as well. And look at how beautiful this card is. So I'm telling you guys, buying that kit is probably the best thing you could ever do. Hands down, it's just a good idea. Everybody loves being a part of a team. And look at this, this is from Susan. And she says, receiving a gift is like getting a rare gemstone. Any way you look at it, you see beauty refracted. And I really love that. This is cute. Thank you, Susan, so much. Next up, look at this beautiful card. Oh my gosh, this is very, very unique. It's got some little raised panels on it. Can you guys see that? Very, very cool. This is from Peggy Williams, and it is a beautiful birthday card. A little bit of Wink of Stella on there too, I think. Yay! Oh my gosh, you guys, I feel so special. I got so many birthday cards. It's just, it's so cool. And I feel so pampered, and you guys just make me feel like the queen of stamping, I guess, is a good way to put it, right? Yeah. So, anybody have any questions that I might have missed? It's hard for me to, to talk and read and try and stay with my thoughts. Combobulated is a pretty good way to say it. So, I'm looking at comments right now if anybody, oops, what happened there? anybody has any questions or comments that they would like to re-answer. Ah, Judy, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. You are the bomb. Beautiful cards. Thank you so much. I just saw a fly fly right over here. And it's kind of funny because every time Val sees a fly, she says, uh, go away, fly, go away, fly. <laughs> it's kind of cute. She must get that from daycare. But we were at the Menasha had an art in the park series. So I took Val and Molly to it. And there was a girl sitting across the table from us. And she was probably like 10, maybe 12. And she goes, there's a spider. And I looked. And Val like looked and her eyes got like saucers. And she's like, oh, my God. There was this teeny weeny little spider crawling along like that. And she goes, there's a spider. And I'm like, where? And she goes, right there. And I, bam, I killed it with my hand. They were just like freaking out. It was so funny. You know what I forgot to do? <laughs> As I'm sitting here, I forgot to do this. So let me see. I need to find Poppy Parade. Hang on. Dark Poppy Parade right here. I was going to make one of these, you guys. And I completely forgot. And that's what happens when I don't get my cards made ahead of time. So let's do that. This is that wood thing. And I am just going to come in and color the ends with the dark poppy parade. These are so cool. They're low profile. So they don't stick up a whole lot. But I just think they add such a neat element. Oops, I missed a little bit. Hang on. Such a neat element. And I thought these would look really neat on here too. So let me see what I'm gonna do with them. <gasps> should I put them right there, you guys? Should I put them there or should I bring them in? Mm, I don't know, I don't know. Do you guys think they should go here? What do you think, you tell me. Where should I put them? Should I leave them off? What should I do? These are really cool. These are called textural elements. Will they break in the mail? I don't think so, because they're flat. I don't think they're gonna break in the mail. I think they're gonna 
come through the mail just fine. As a matter of fact, I got some swap cards using these and they were not broken. So that's a really good question. I think they're going to be fine. I like ye. Let's see. I'm thinking right over here, right? Leave it off. Lori says leave it off. Janet says near the bottom. Becky says near the bottom. Barbara says top right. Julie wants to leave them off. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was kind of thinking they'd kind of just kind of go down in here behind here. But for right now, I'm going to leave them off. We'll use these again. How's that sound? <laughs> everybody's got everybody's got a different opinion. We're just going to put them away. <laughs> I was going to use this and I didn't. So I could definitely put this on here someplace. Let's see. Where's our bow jig? Right here. Let's do that instead. But I do really like these. I think they're pretty cool. And they'd be great on scrapbooking pages too, you guys. So I'm going to do a triple bow here. And I just wrapped that around three times. I want to leave the tails long enough so it kind of, I don't know, so they're long. <laughs> Ooh, Kelly, that was a, quite a description. Okay, here we go. And let's do a little snippity doo -da. Now, you guys know, for the people who already left, they're missing it, aren't they? <laughs> you can take your bone folder and you can kind of curl this ribbon. It'll kind of curl a little bit. You want to make sure you hang on to it so you don't pull it apart like your bow part but it kind of kind of curls up like that when you do that with a bone folder and I'm thinking yep that's the ticket I love that I'm glad I didn't put the other thing on because this is definitely what I needed I'm gonna do a mini glue dot and I'm gonna curl it up and I'm gonna put that mm, right down here maybe We'll see. Nope, I don't want it there. I'm gonna pull that up. And I'm gonna put it right over here. Here we go. And I'm gonna love this, right? Loving it. I'm gonna remove this. <laughs> this is what happens when you rework cards. Look at how cute that is. Do you guys like that? I really like that. I like that twine. It kind of goes with the whole woodsy, woodsy stuff. And then the other thing is that I kind of tore my cardstock right there a little bit. Oh, I'm not going to do that. This is going to cover it up. Nobody will ever know. Woohoo! Yay! Okay. I think we're done. So I'm going to clean up this mess. I'm going to get my video downloaded. Thank goodness I download that immediately since Facebook likes to delete my videos jerks oop did I say that oh I did I know I'm kind of sassy sometimes <gasps> I love it floating panel I I want you guys to make one of these I I'm telling you you're gonna love it it's super simple I did it with some scrap cardstock and um, crummy white cardstock and some old designer paper I did this part so that I would know what I was doing so I would be able to show you guys but yeah, do it with some old cardstock. I'll have the PDF ready, hopefully, tonight. Um, lots of times, uh, lots of times YouTube is doing some um, additional checks on our videos. They've been taking a long time to get them finalized on YouTube. Like, we upload them right away, but it, it took like four hours one night, and I'm like, I just need to go to bed. And so, yeah, it, it's kind of a problem, but I have to wait for that video so it can go on my blog post with the PDF of the um, project sheets that I'm providing for you. So just know that, okay? Oh, <laughs> you know, now we know where Val gets her sassy mouth. I know, I know, you know, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree there. And it was so funny because she does get really kind of sassy. And um, as much as I spoil her, that's one thing that I will not tolerate. Like I always have demanded respect from my kids or my stepkids. And um, when she starts getting sassy like that, oh no, oh no, sister, that is not going to work with me. So I can be a lot of things and we can have a great time, but you're not going to be a little sassy mouth with me. <laughs> but I still giggle, <laughs> right? Just not in front of her. That's something I, I just won't tolerate it. So I think that you demand respect from people. 
things are gonna go a lot, a lot better, right? <laughs> yeah. It's cute though when she does get like, no! And it's like, oh, girlfriend, you do not use that tone with me. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm gonna let you go. I need to go get something to drink and go see what my family is up to. Um, I will not be live next weekend. I'm going to be camping, but I am hoping to have a Facebook Live not live for you. So it will post at 7 p.m. Central Time as long as I can get it finished. I also have to make 10 of these cards tonight for a swap that needs to be in the mail tomorrow. And that's pretty easy peanuts for me to do. But yeah, this is my swap card. So I kind of did double duty. I needed Facebook Live stuff and I need this for a swap card with the hippos turned cow. Well, theirs aren't, theirs aren't turned cow, but mine is turned cow. <laughs> Please make sure you share this video, whether you're on Facebook right now, Facebook later, or YouTube. There is a share button. That really helps me grow my business, and I so appreciate it. You guys are so sweet. I see cute projects. Fun, fun, fun. Um, yeah, Ginny, we're going to have a blast. I bought a new tube for the, for the boat, like the pull behind big ones. I got a new one. It has two compartments in it and you sit up on it. So I'm hoping that Val will like tubing. We'll see. She's not very much of a daredevil. Like when you push her in a swing, if you push her too high right from the get-go, she gets a little freaked out, which is kind of like, what the heck is going on? Like we are adrenaline junkies. <laughs> so I don't know. I got to do some better training with her. Um, anyways, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm just rambling on. You have yourselves a wonderful week. Thank you so much for joining me. I always appreciate it. Bye-bye.